So Dr. Grant, I have to ask, how accurate was the movie that was made on your life? Claire Danes did a fantastic job of becoming me in the 60s and the 70s. She, uh, uh, you know, some anxiety, speech, mannerisms, and the thing is, she was playing me when I was a lot younger and I was a lot more autistic-like. And then you keep learning, get less autistic-like. The movie showed my visual thinking absolutely accurately, like the scene where all the shoes came up, the anxiety, the sensory problems. All of my projects were accurate. The gate you could open from the car, squeeze machine, the, uh, this, the um, optical illusion room, and the dipping vat. In fact, that was a real dip vat with real cattle going through it. Those scenes were not fake. When they had the drowning, that was just done with editing. Uh, but the rest of all of the other cattle scenes were real uh, cattle. I even advised them on the cattle. I said, get black baldies, they're gonna have really pretty faces. And, and obviously, to make a two hour movie work, there were some other events they had to compress and switch around some. I did have a blind roommate. They moved her from graduate school to college. She was very accurately depicted. My science teacher, I had him, Ann, out on the ranch. You know, the main characters were there, but there were some events they had to move around and change. Uh, the uh, problems I had breaking into the man's world is right. They did put the bull testicles on my vehicle. That happened. Uh, people being mean to me, a lot of that stuff happened. Mm -hmm. Have you, I've heard you say that autism has actually worked in your favor, that sometimes you didn't always catch some of the subtle clues that might have offended other people. Well, if they just would let me stay at the feed yard and handle the cattle, it was fine. I didn't, I didn't notice that they were rolling their eyes. I didn't, I didn't notice that. I was oblivious to that. So as long as they didn't actually throw me out, I was happy. So maybe <laughs> autism might have been an advantage. <laughs> and they also used some of your work in the movie, some of the drawings, is that correct? Yes, there's a scene in there with the conference room with the guys around the table, and that drawing that they put the animation on top, that's one of my actual real drawings from a real job that was built. Um, there's another scene in there where it shows the dip fat entrance. That's a real drawing. My real articles from the Fire Ranchman magazine were flashed up at the end. They did put Claire Dane's picture on one of them. But one of them, Beef Magazine articles, shoot losses aren't, art aren't accidents is right. The drowning thing actually happened. The metal sheet put in there. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, did they fix it later on? Yes, we did. We went back there and fixed it, and then it, it worked just fine. Now, I have to ask you about the Emmys. I watched the Emmys, couldn't, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed seeing you on there, but you were also taught, mentioned a young man by the name of Sheldon that's in, uh, is it the Big, Big Bang, Bang Theory? Big Bang Theory, yes. And, and relate to autism with him and, and everything else and what you witnessed there at the Emmys. Well, Sheldon plays an absolute okay. geeky little kid with, you know, physics student and he wears the double T-shirts and so do some of the very big boys that run Silicon Valley wear those same shirts. And uh, Sheldon won uh, Best Comedy Actor, and he gets up and he gives his, his, his little speech. And he was Sheldon. And he blurted out like 25 all, names of people Mom, that thanked Julie, him. And Nathan, he Michael, was still Sheldon. Parker, Where Claire, on the other hand, she's Claire when she's up on the stage at the Emmys, and she became me. She's a very serious actress when it comes to being a character actress. She had listened to hours and hours and hours of ancient old videotapes that I'd given her. So is there not that much difference between the geek in Silicon Valley and someone that may not be functioning that well with autism? Absolutely there is. It's a continuum and you can have uh, one of the person becomes a geek in Silicon Valley and very successful. The other one ends up in mom's basement playing video games for the rest of his life. Uh, and I have seen little Sheldon Juniors go places I don't want them going. That's why we've got to start working on the work skills. Uh, uh, what's this kid going to do? We've got to push him to do some stuff. Video game playing should be an hour a day. And I would have been a video game addict for those things that have been around in the 60s. I'm not programmer material. I can't do the math. Also, the type of artwork I do is not the right type of artwork for video games. And if I'd gotten addicted to video games, I wouldn't have been uh, working with cattle. And then there's a few guys, they can go in that industry and program them, fine. That's a career, but we've got to push these kids. Mother was always pushing me out to do new things. She had me doing a sewing job when I was 13. She made sure I was in when I was in college, I was doing internships one summer at a research lab, uh, uh, getting work experience, doing, doing things, get out, doing lots of things. I am struck that whatever aspect of your life we're talking about, you really don't deal much in abstracts. You're very much a real life solution person. I don't, I, I don't even understand abstract things. I want to, I want to, you know, do real things. I'm concerned in this country that we're getting, all the policymakers are getting too abstractified, too far away from real things. Child of the 60s, we did a lot more real things. 
oh man, going to the moon, building the interstate highway system, uh, hit a lot of real things. And you believe many of the people that did this maybe had some autism? Oh, go back and look at those old NASA videos of the control room. Oh, it's got Asperger written all over it. <laughs> well, Dr. Grandin, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for changing our world for the better.